Hey guys, so this is my art room. I know it's a complete disaster. I've been spending a lot of time in here. Um, so I've literally been going crazy, just like cutting things out. I've bought like every single magazine. I'm painting a lot. So this is something I was just working on this weekend. My stars are blind. It's like just starting out, so there's gonna be a lot more stars. And this is like my skull piece, which I love. It's like this amazing collage of all my favorite skulls, and then I just painted it and glossed it up. This I'm making right now, Diamonds Are a Girl's Best Friend. This is one of my favorites. All the emojis. Such a mood. And I made this for my boyfriend's mom. It's her birthday, so I got a picture from him of her cat named Sadie, and I painted her. And now let's go downstairs because I actually do have to draw. Today I'm gonna be doing a drawing for a charity called Doodles for Dollars. So let's do this. Getting the hang of this. Almost. Yes. And then her tongue is always sticking out, so I'm gonna do a little pink tongue. This is actually awesome to use if you're going to be doing art and you don't want to do it on a canvas yet. You can actually practice on here and then like not mess up the canvas. So this is actually a good tool. So I'm happy I'm doing this for charity and I have a new fun little art thing. And then I'll finish coloring in her pink collar. Paint it yellow so it looks like gold. Pretty. Oh yeah, and whiskers. No, it's too thick. Dude, you're like messing up. <laughs> name. Here we go. Do you like it? <laughs> Thanks. Hi Gorge, I'm wondering what are some of your hobbies that keep you busy at home during this quarantine that you don't often share with the public? Well, that's what I'm doing today. Sometimes I text back, but I like to make it more personal, so I do voice notes. Plus it's easier than typing. Hey Alec, I hope that you're doing good. I love to do art. I love to cook. I love to spend time with my puppies. I love to watch Netflix. I'm obsessed with BoJack Horseman, the cartoon. I like Rick and Morty. I love the show Westworld. It's from Jennifer Wells. How are you dealing with quarantine life since you're used to working literally all the waking hours? We know you to be a charitable individual, so how are you doing your part during the pandemic? You are so gracious and have helped many throughout your celebrity. How do you manage to balance business with your media persona? What is your dream concert to attend? Can you please make a compilation of fun photo shoots you've done and make them into a coffee table book? I love that idea. Hey Jennifer, I hope that you're doing well. So during quarantine, I've been just at home. It's been nice to not travel. So I'm just really enjoying this time with my pets and my boyfriend. And during this pandemic, I'm doing a lot of different charity work. Um, with my family's foundation, as well as I just did this Triller Music Festival. 
which mm -hmm. was a virtual music festival, <coughs> and I'm going to be doing more of those for charity and a lot of other things that are coming up. My dream concert to attend, a concert with like all the icons together would be amazing. Like Madonna and Britney Spears and Katy Perry and Dua Lipa, and Christina Aguilera and me. <laughs> and yes, I love the idea of photo shoots into a coffee table book. So I will be doing that. Sending you lots of love. It's from Tiffany Marie Dickinson. Just watch the American meme. Finally, I know I'm late and I wanted to cry for all the pain you had when you were younger. I can't imagine going through what you did. You're so strong. Always keep your head up, queen. You're inspiring us more than you know. Thank you, Tiffany, for the sweet message. I'm happy that you enjoyed watching the American meme and your words mean a lot to me. And yes, I will always be strong. And thank you again. I really appreciate what you said. Love you. Next message is from Emma Grabowski. Hey girl, teach me the ways of being Paris. I have to know for when quarantine is over and hot girl summer is back. So I had to ask the original hot girl. My advice is to keep living. Just live your best life. Loves it. So I just did two contests. One was the Juicy Couture contest and Polina won that one. And the other contest was for Triller Fest. And the winner of that was Elixie. So let's get together their surprises. Polina, she won the Juicy Couture contest. You win a signed Juicy Couture velour tracksuit. This one's so cute. Juicy. And this really cute velour hoodie. These are so comfy. Literally during quarantine, this is all I wear. I'll look at you trying to get on the action. And my full skincare line, Electrify. To Polina. Right. And my cosmetics line. So we have the Girl Power Palette. These are beautiful colors. Let me shake it, it has glitter in it. And then this is my favorite glam palette, which is blush and all of these beautiful colors for eyeshadows. This gold sparkly one is my favorite. It looks so beautiful on. So if you do like a natural eye and use this and then the highlighters and blush, contour. Actually, I'll sign those as well. And Ulixi won the Triller Fest contest, which was basically, I had everybody design their own flyer for the festival. And Ulixi made so many of them that I really loved. So you are the winner. And this is a solid gold vinyl. It's a limited edition. It's only 2,000 copies made. And it's my first album, the Paris album. So let me open it and sign it. I'm actually gonna do one for Polina too. I love her so much. Mm -hmm. And then here we have every single song with all the lyrics. So it's pretty sick. I'm also going to grab some skincare and Electrify for Elixir because I love them so much and just want to throw in some extra surprises. So those are the contest winners for this week. I'm going to be doing lots more giveaways and contests, so make sure to stay tuned and like and subscribe. Love you guys. I just went down and got my mail and I got these amazing surprises. So first of all, Betty, thank you so much. This is so amazing and so sweet. 